Lost in its big plan they call Vision Zero that is aiming to reduce the number of deaths caused by traffic accidents to zero. But as of this week, we've already seen 33 people killed on Austin roads. That is the same number as this time last year. Wanted to know what is the city of Austin doing to make sure that you're safe on the street? Kate is live for us at Lamar and Runberg because that was once considered one of the city's most dangerous intersections, Kate. Yeah, good morning, guys. You know, this intersection was actually considered the second most dangerous, but because of the Vision Zero plan, the city pumped about $3 million into this intersection, made some big changes. You can see that they now have uh, some raised medians that are through the crosswalks, as well as new crosswalks, and then they added the buttons you can push to change the lights so you can cross the street safely. But there is still a lot more work to be done. While the Vision Zero plan is only in its first year, it has goals for each year all the way through 20. 25. The city's transportation department provided details on their annual report to the Urban Transportation Commission just last night. And we have learned that so far, as a result of this plan, 28 miles of new or improved bike lanes, 68 new pedestrian crossing, and 14 miles of new and improved sidewalks have been completed in 2016. The goal is to improve safety for all modes of transportation to cut down the number of deaths. We know that those numbers will fluctuate year to year, but this is really a long-term strategic approach to reducing those serious injuries and fatalities over time. Well, next up, 28 intersections have been identified for improvements. The city has found that uh, turning in and out of shops along busy streets like Lamar here is one of the reasons that led to some accidents, and so that's why they've done the raised medians. More are planned throughout the city. Back to you guys. The Vision Zero plan has a, a guideline on what to focus on. It includes that you focus on education and engineering, evaluations, enforcement, and setting policy. It was adopted by the City Council of 2016. Nine city departments are actively involved in making those improvements.